looking at the number of youths that are uh, that may want or have the urge to engage in investments, are there easy pocket friendly investments that the young people can engage themselves with and how accessible are they? Yeah, uh, there are <coughs> basically there's a, a confusion between money and the youth mm -hmm. because uh, the current curriculum has taught us to be self-employed and therefore the youth are coming up with the startups and they're looking for money to finance these startups so mm -hmm. that they can also boom mm -hmm. in entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Over the last uh, 10 years, it's been difficult mm -hmm. because uh, banks are realizing that a huge percentage of persons under 30 mm -hmm. are rushing there to look for soft loans mm -hmm. to pump into their businesses. 90% mm -hmm. of these businesses do not go beyond 100,000 monthly turnover mm -hmm. and that is the minimum requirement by banks mm -hmm. and therefore back in the day uh, venture capital was good because you'd get money from uh, angel investors mm -hmm. you'd get money from uh, people of goodwill to start your business but today they're shying away they're telling their youth the mm -hmm. youth to use the little they have to in, uh, to promote their businesses mm -hmm. so right now it's tough for the youth mm -hmm. the venture capital market is going down tremendously. All right, for one to start uh, an investment investment project, rather, mm -hmm. uh, one of the key concerns is the capital. Now, is the government able to give young people this capital to start these particular projects? Yeah, the government is in uh, po uh, in a position to finance to give uh, uh, the youth uh, growth fund. It's called growth fund. But uh, the various agencies that the government has trusted mm -hmm. to oversee policy implementations in terms of disma disbursement of this fund, mm -hmm. uh, there is a gross misappropriation mm -hmm. of this fund. You get that agencies that I do not wish to mention their names on air, the money gets leaked into pockets of the officials, the money is used in, in, in financing corrupt deals, mm -hmm. and therefore the deserving youth. Mm -hmm. do not get the money. So yes, the government is in a position to, mm -hmm. but the money is misappropriated largely. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, there are some uh, investment platforms whereby you are only uh, supposed to save a minimum of 3,000 shillings. Is this pocket friendly to the young people of this nation, bearing, uh, bearing in mind that most of them are not employed? Well, uh, the standards of living are short. Mm -hmm. Basic commodities, the pricing has short. Mm -hmm. And therefore, money is like 3,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. In all honesty, cannot compete. Mm -hmm. And a, youth, uh, uh, a normal youth cannot use it as a growth fund mm -hmm. because, uh, because of the, the, the standard of living. Mm -hmm. Products, uh, you see that now even in the supermarkets, mm -hmm. you can't really use that money to get something tangible for the week. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it, the, the shilling is continuing to depreciate. Mm -hmm. And uh, really, there has to be a policy review mm -hmm. on the amount mm -hmm. the youth can really use to invest. St. Mm -hmm. the other day was putting it at 5,000 shillings, but again, it sparked debate mm -hmm. because it has been affected by things like betting. Mm -hmm. You get a, uh, somebody, somebody like me has 5,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. So instead of looking on how to buy something, maybe a bale of clothes and sell it mm -hmm. at uh, maybe 200 shillings profit, mm -hmm. I use it to bet and it gets lost. Mm -hmm. So that is the tragedy of the contemporary youth. All right, for you, it's we should avoid borrowing at any cost, right? Yes, I mean, let's forget about borrowing because, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, let's say I, you give me money, you mm -hmm. give me 100,000 mm -hmm. to start a photography business, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then now uh, I get the cameras, I get the equipment, then I move into events. Then mm -hmm. one month down the line, the camera breaks down, and I have to go into debt again to get money to fix it mm -hmm. and the, all that. So I get that I accrue debt. I don't make profits. Mm -hmm. So who will keep on financing me? You mm -hmm. get. Mm -hmm. So if you already s established a business, okay, there's a flow of uh, uh, you get the, the suppliers get you stuff and you sell them and you get some mega profits. Mm -hmm. Okay. That way you can borrow from banks because you will be having the, the records and mm -hmm. the paperwork to promote and breathe fresh air into your business so that it can boom, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So for, from z I, I say from one to 10, you're allowed to borrow, mm -hmm. but getting from zero to one, mm -hmm. don't borrow.
yeah. use the little you have. Uh, all right. Don't borrow, use the little you have. Uh, are there any other options you have that will make the young people not to go for borrowing as their first option? Yeah. Uh, uh, there's only one uh, approach right now, mm -hmm. whereby, you see, uh, we are told to, to employ ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that, that it's a narrative. How do I employ myself? Yeah. So 35% of the youth will ra rush to, com to be consultants mm -hmm. in, in fields they've studied at the university. Mm -hmm. okay? So then number one thing of getting some little money to start your business, go into hard employment. Mm -hmm. Go and work under someone. Okay? go and do and get yourself in uh, probably an official labor. Mm -hmm. Just struggle so hard mm -hmm. to get this little money that is going to get you from zero to one. All right, I have this scenario where I have to like give my products to a higher demand that I've, I have been doing before. Mm -hmm. And the only option there is borrowing. How do we deal with such? Okay, we are not we are not uh, we are not completely kicking out borrowing mm -hmm. uh, as a st as a growth mm -hmm. fund measure. Mm -hmm. We are only saying that the event that you are borrowing, let's have some aspects of it mm -hmm. very stable. Number one, make sure that you have asset, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. so that when uh, now when you don't go into you don't make profits, mm -hmm. there's something that can act as a leverage, okay. So when you are borrowing, make sure you have a base. Okay, mm -hmm. when the suppliers bring you things, but y you can no longer pay them because there's stagnation mm -hmm. in your in your business. Mm -hmm. At least they can see that we can wait mm -hmm. for six months, and then he'd be in a position to pay us. But borrowing when you have nothing—that mm -hmm. is the analogy that truly mm -hmm. doesn't make sense. And I'm against. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how can young people, or what do you think, the government should do to ensure that young people are involved in? investments yeah well there are a number of uh, strategic measures strategic interventions uh, one government should review its policy mm -hmm. and uh, really do uh, checks and balances on some of these agencies that m are mandated to mm -hmm. give the youth growth funds All right, okay. which policy? we have Uezo. Mm -hmm. Uezo, i think is the leading one mm -hmm. then we have agpo mm -hmm. whereby the youth come in numbers they register an, an organization mm -hmm. then they run left right center and get the money mm -hmm. but uh 60 percent mm -hmm. of the monies that government invest in these agencies for the youth mm -hmm. get lost through mm -hmm. filthy so by government re 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 reanalyzing and reviewing its policy mm -hmm. and bringing in people who will really help the youth, mm -hmm. we are still at a bad end. All right, so um, as we wind up, there's uh, a young person out there, they have the idea and they have nothing, totally nothing to start, maybe a business or an investment. Um, how, what would you like to tell them? Mm -hmm. uh, being that you are advising them not to go for loans. Well, well, when you say this uh, young person out there who has something, mm -hmm. a startup, you, if you may, mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I'm thinking that this startup is unique yeah. and uh, can uh, attract angel investors. Mm -hmm. But you know, angel investors are also tricky yeah. because they'll, you'll tell them, give me one million, mm -hmm. then I'll give you an, uh, an equity share. And yeah. they'll tell you, I'm giving you one million to start your business, mm -hmm. but it will be 50% of that business will be mine. Mm -hmm. That is the disadvantage of angel investors. Mm -hmm. So let's learn how to pitch. Let's introduce creativity in our startups. Let's mm -hmm. not come up with startups that are just but copy pasted things that mm -hmm. already exist mm -hmm. okay so if we come up with an initiative and we want to bloom it into business let's package it strategically mm -hmm. so that it can attract investors it uh, can attract the attention of government directly mm -hmm. and it can attract uh, the attention of capitalists mm -hmm. okay B but if we go the trend of coming up you know i want to start for, i'll always use photography mm -hmm. because even you, I know you have a friend who does yes, photography. Exactly. Yeah, so if you say, I want to start a photography business, mm -hmm. I don't think, yeah. So let's package our startups mm -hmm. so uniquely that they can attract capitalists. All right. Yeah. I am young. I want to engage myself, myself with uh, investments. What factors do I need to consider mm -hmm. to know that this is the right investment for me to like get involved to it 
number one, research. Mm -hmm. Look at the global and domestic trends mm -hmm. or whatever you're interested in. How is it doing? Mm -hmm. The people who have been involved in it, how are they doing? Mm -hmm. What are some of the challenges they've continued to encompass? Mm -hmm. Meet them, you know, knock these doors and tell them, hey, I'm interested in your line of doing things. Mm -hmm. I want to know some of the uh, demerits All or right. some of the challenges you've continued to face. Mm -hmm. And what are some of their unique uh, uh, interventions I can bring into it so mm -hmm. that it can stand out. Mm -hmm. So research deeply into it. Mm -hmm. Once you research well and you know the dynamics, mm -hmm. you'll be in a position to master it and strategically position yourself for investment or somebody getting attracted to what you have. Mm -hmm. So it goes down to research. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. It has been great getting these insights from you. That has been Private Socrates, CEO of PSN Interact, an agency that offers graphic design, branding, and many more services. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on the bulletin. My name is Yvonne Anula. Meet you next time, same time, same place. Coming up next is the Forex Report. Enjoy the rest of your viewing.